Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to route your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus here. Only the Exynos editions as they have an unlocked bootloader. Now this is uh, for both I guess the S8 and the S8 Plus models as the uh, sequences and steps are pretty much the same and all you have to do is use a different uh, file. So one file and I'll point out which the recovery file that you need to download for your respective device. And so yes, uh, Exynos devices only, so if you have a Snapdragon device, you cannot, you must not do any of this because it won't work for you, no matter how hard you try. You'll need to wait for an exploit for your device, as do those bootloaders are locked indeed. And I think there is something out there, but I don't have an Exynos, sorry, a Snapdragon device, so I can't cover it, can I? So a few drawbacks here is that you'll trip Nox permanently, that means no secure folder and no Samsung Pay uh, of any kind, forever, permanently. And also, um, you won't be able to get, I think, OTAs and and things like that. So, of course, your warranty might be void also, but that would be entirely dependent on whether your country will, I guess, honor hardware warranty, regardless of the software conditions or, yeah. So, double check on that as well. But uh, if you're okay with that, let's get started. So, first off, we'll do something on our device here. We'll need to enable OEM unlocking and make sure you leave that enabled as well. So we need to go to settings and then go to about phone. I think it's head over to software information. Tap on the build number a couple times until we get to enabling the developer options. And then we'll scroll down, tap on the developer options here. First off, we're going to uncheck auto update system and you're going to want to enable OEM unlock. So it'll look like that, tap on enable. Oh, like so. You can also enable USB debugging if you want to, but uh, it isn't necessary at this point. So what we're going to do now, uh, once we've done that, and you've prepared yourself for the obviously uh, Nox tripping and not being able to use Android Pay, not Android Pay, Samsung Pay. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get started right away. So we need to head over to our computer here and we're going to need to download a few things. First off, we're going to need to download the Samsung USB drivers that you can take off this this link. It's uh, I think it's newer than the one that Samsung provides on their website, so that's a little weird. Also, you'll need a latest version of Odin, which is also here. Oops. So you can uh, make sure you download those two. These two files, pretty much. I'll just highlight them again. Uh, so download those two. Once you've got that downloaded, you also need the correct um, TWRP recovery for your device. So you can scroll down here. We have the one for the Dream LTE, which is just uh, just the S8 uh, Exynos variants, of course. So if you have the regular S8, click on this link and it'll download the one for your device. Whoops. Uh, go down here to primary download links and then select the or download the latest version make sure you get the tar file as that uh, we'll be using Odin to flash this so make sure you select along the tar extension now I have the S8 plus so I'm going to be downloading this one so I'm going to go over to the download links and make sure you download the one with the tar uh, variant here oh sorry extension click on this uh, bigger blue download link and then I'm going to save it in the folder that we are going to use here we are. So it won't take too long, about 38 megabytes. And last but not least, we'll also download the latest version of Magisk. I think this is the, I guess now permanently, or kind of default way of rooting now, which is uh, not objecting to that, but definitely uh, we're gonna hit the download button down here, and this will download the latest version for us. So I'm going to save that in my usual Android folder, and I'm gonna copy it over to our other Android folder, just so we can keep things a little bit neater. So yeah, uh, once we got it downloaded, I only have two files here, but that's all right. I'll just copy over the rest when I can. I'll just make a new folder here. I'll wait for our downloads to finish. Magisk should have been finished downloading. Uh, let's see, this is the 18th. So there we are, and last but not least, Cool, so we need these four files, obviously. Uh, you can close your Chrome window now. We, we don't need that anymore. Now from here, we are going to need to do a couple of things. First off, make sure you got your drivers installed. Uh, very easy, double click, hit yes to the um, UAC prompt. And mine will already tell me that my drivers are installed, but you can hit yes anyway. I'm gonna hit no, just to save a little bit of time. Uh, the driver installation shouldn't take too long, maybe a couple of minutes. Um, and, but once that is done, what we need to do is uh, open up the Odin folder here drag out Odin, just like that, extract it. There should be only two files inside, as you can see here. 
Now next up is our TWRP image.tar file and we also have our magisk zip file. We want to copy our magisk zip file onto the external SD card if you have one. Otherwise, we will do this a little bit later and I'll show you how. So if you have an external SD card, I recommend that you copy the this version of magisk over there immediately. Uh, so I think my phone is already plugged in, so we'll just do that now. Oh, we'll go on the card and we'll copy over magisk to the SD card, like so. And once you've got that done, uh, we can pretty much get started right away. We're going to reboot our phone into download mode. Now to do this, we need to power off our device. And what I like to do is also unplug the USB cable here, just so we can get into the download mode a little bit easier. So we're going to tap on power off and power off our device. There we are. Okay, once it vibrates and the LED has gone off, you want to hold Bixby, power and volume down at the same time. Now I'm going to use two hands for this and this is what it's going to look like. And you'll see this uh, warning screen. If you're ready to continue, press volume up and pretty much nothing is void until you flash or press the flash button or install button on Odin. Now you can see some details in the top left corner here. We can now plug in our device once again with our USB cable. Okay. Once you've got that uh, plugged in, you can kind of check if your device is recognized by the computer. I'll just quickly switch over. And from here, you can go to, down to Device Manager and look at modems. Yeah, over here, you can see the Samsung USB modem, and that is connected on COM port 4. So that is A OK. OK, so we're just going to bring up Odin now. Just going to open it normally. We're going to click on AP and locate our TWRP tar file. You can see our device is here connected on the same COM port, number 4. And you can see that this is fine, it's all been added. Now I urge you to watch ahead on this because we need to hold down a button combination as soon as our device turns off. So what we need to do is get ready to hold the volume up button, the Bixby button. Uh, so sorry, yeah, volume up, Bixby, and the power button uh, as soon as our device turns black. So I'm going to position myself in a way where I can as soon as I press start, I can hold those three buttons at, um, at the same time. So I'm going to get ready for this. And I'm just going to hold my phone like this. I apologize that you can't really see anything very well anymore, but make sure you have your hands on the power, volume up, and Bixby button. As soon as your or the screen turns black, you'll need to hold them, okay? So we're going to press start. It might take a couple tries to do, but I'm going to hit start. And as soon as it turns black, we need to hold the buttons down. Once it vibrates, we should be able to let go, but I'm just going to hold it here a little bit longer until I can see that we are booting into TWRP. And I'll just angle this a little bit better so you can see it. My hands are going to start shaking. Uh, I think we are, we've we made it since our phone's not booting up further or past that into the Samsung logo. And we can see we've successfully gone into TWRP. Uh, this is great. So I'm going to make this uh, full screen again. Basically from here we need to swipe allow modifications. You will need to go through this as if you have a modification to your device and you end up booting, you will need to do a factory reset anyway. Now keep in mind you will need to erase everything like I've mentioned at the beginning and so we're going to do that right now. We're going to tap on wipe, go to format data, type in yes. So this is why I uh, told you to copy the magisk zip file to the external SD card as that is not wiped press a little tick button here. You can see that it tried to mount data uh, but it hasn't worked. So we're going to go back and as TWRP tells us to reboot back into itself so we're going to tap on the reboot menu like so and then tap on recovery and I'm going to say do not install and we are, our phone is going to reboot back into TWRP where we are going to flash the latest version of Magisk. So here it is. We're going to swipe to allow modifications once more now we're going to go to install. You can see we can read our internal SD card, but I'm going to tap on select storage, go to the micro SD card, hit OK, scroll down till we see Magisk, and also swipe to confirm flash. Now after this is flashed, I'll show you how to, well, another way to flash the Magisk zip file in case you haven't or don't have an SD card available. Now I'll show you that in a sec after this is done, which should be pretty soon. Cool. So basically within TWRP, you should be able to access your device through normal means. So if we go over to our computer, go to this PC, we can see our phone is actually able to be accessed here. We can access the internal storage and we can make new files 
and copy things over there. So if you don't have an SD card, you can always copy it while your phone is inside TWRP and then hit the wrong button. I might turn down that vibration. So yeah, um, you can always do that and still flash the Magisk zip file. So once you've done flashing things, uh, you can tap on reboot and then system. Again, I don't want to install the TWRP app, but of course you can do that if you want to. So now a device will take roughly the same time it did when it first turned on. So maybe five minutes, give or take. So wait for that to happen. Um, it should root up you know, normally as usual. So I'll wait for this, I'll fast forward it until we get into the setup screen where we'll need to set up our device and then after that we will see that we have Magisk installed and hopefully safety net passes as uh, we've had some issues with safety net passing using Magisk uh, over the past few days but apparently the latest beta has fixed that up or well, as of the time of making this video so do keep that in mind as well. So I'm going to fast forward this step and we'll see how it goes at the end. Okay, so we've reached the um, startup screen here. I'm just going to skim through all this because I plan on flashing a custom ROM after this. Uh, so here we can set up our device as usual. Now let me just get to the end here, connect to the internet, and then do our safety net test. Even if safety net doesn't pass, I mean at least you got a rooted phone, which is uh, probably most important as I guess our fight for bypassing safety net may be very hard very soon. Okay, so I've connected to the internet. When we swipe up, we should see Magisk Manager. There we are. And also, we're going to tap on Allow. We can see we're on the latest Magisk version. I know it says 12, but really it's 13 beta. And we can see all that stuff. We can tap to start the safety net check. It might say it doesn't pass because we haven't enabled Magisk Hide. And that seems to be true, so we're going to go to Settings. And, oops, turn on Magisk Hide just like that. Just one thing and then we'll tap on that again. And hopefully it passes this time. There we are, so yeah. We have successfully passed 18 net, we are rooted, and uh, we are on the S8 here, which is fantastic. So thank you so much guys for watching. And if you have any questions or things like that, feel free to leave it down below. Hopefully I'll be able to show off some custom ROMs or things like that um, in the future with the S8. But for now, this is what I plan on doing it, or doing things on it so far. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.